Um, you know, I might end up just saying, you know what? There's piranha over there. I can't get across. Let's um, let's find another way around. Oh, and the copies are here too, I think. Um, actually, let's, let's try something else. I just, honestly, swimming in the water is a death trap. You just, oh gosh. Now the crocodile's right there. He's probably been eating a bunch of stuff too, so he's like big and gnarly. I kind of wish that um, Predators got, what, like, no, no. Um... <laughs> this is it, like the beginning of the game. There's gonna be a lot of this kind of like panic and running away from stuff. Are they still coming? At least until I get like a good little dino army going. Think I can make the swim across here. I'm gonna try the land route. Come on, swim, swim, swim. Beat the horrifying piranha. And the seals are harmless, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, now, I'm worried about going the land route, because we might get some more um, Coelophysis jerks, but I think if I just run away, I can outrun them. They don't seem to be too quick. So, we're going to make an effort of it. Come on, get up there. Seriously, if this was real life, I could just, like, grab my arm up there. And I'm not even the most athletic dude. And we'll hit E as we walk through these berry patches, just to get a little bit of grub, a little bit of chow. I should have gone this way the first time, it's, it's just down here. Okay, that was a Dilophosaurus. That was... I don't know. Um, you learn the sounds <laughs> as you go along. Um, and I think if we go... See, we have to get up and over this cliff. I think if we hug this kind of side. What I should really do is, well, I guess we get some fiberage and stuff while we do this. Ultimately, like, if we came out here for a while, it's kind of cool. Like, you end up clearing out the rainforest, and it's it's realistic in a way. Because um, it takes a while for stuff to regrow. Just... Another thing to, like, good good kind of word of advice for this, as you go around, stop every so often, don't really move, listen a little bit, and just look for movement in the forest, kind of like confirm your surroundings. It, it's a, generally a good practice, and I've avoided so many, like, needlessly running into um, large dinosaurs doing that. Of course... You know, it's, it's no guarantee, but in general, yeah, see up there? Okay, that's a turtle, so that's okay. Another thing is, um, if you come across kind of a newer area, yeah, take a moment, look around, watch the herbivores. They will panic if there's a predator nearby, and that alerts you to, you know, you gotta be on your toes. Okay, why are they flying off all freaked out? It could be nothing. It could be something. Like, if I'm right, this is like a little valley up ahead. It's actually a good spot for base. Um, because it's fairly well defended. Okay, we gotta level up. What was I saying? It's fairly well defended. It has good access to the river when you need water. And there's a cave, and caves are useful for going in and getting minerals and stuff. Like, yeah, basically because this valley, this this is the valley, doesn't look like it just yet, but it will when I clear it out. The nice thing about it is big dinosaurs have kind of some trouble. I'm going to boost health or melee again. Let's do melee. Huh. Now, good ones to get would be, say, the slingshot. I'm going to go for the slingshot, actually. I'm tempted to get the spear as well, but now that we have a slingshot, mm, I think we can kind of not worry about the spear as much. Now, what, what do I need to build that slingshot again? Probably hide. One hide, some wood, and fiberage. Okay. 
Um, yep, sorry. Oh, did I not pick up any wood or? Yeah, I don't have any wood or thatch. I need to punch a tree. That's right, I died. <laughs> Goodness, I. I had a pretty bad run of luck there. Well, I could avoid that piranha death. That was stupid. You know, I should have just been like, eh, it's dangerous. Let's go a different direction. Sometimes you have to do that in this. You know, you kind of have to say, yeah, there's piranhas in the water. I'm not going that way. You can go that way, um, but not me. The other thing is, like, the dinosaurs, if they hear you, they'll get interested and come take a look at their predator. So, like, standing still like that really does help in the game. It'll, it'll, it, you can actually hide from the dinosaurs, so, uh, like, if you're far enough away. I mean, ultimately, they'll, they can kind of sniff you out sometimes, but, um, you can kind of sneak a little bit. You can kind of be a little tricksy. So, something to keep in mind. And yeah, see, this is kind of a little valley, and then there's a cave entrance up here. Um, this is actually a good spot for a base, so. Now, I, I wouldn't recommend going to the cave immediately. It's it's quite dangerous. Um, but I think... Ooh. You're not going to attack me, are you? You're going to be friendly. That would be a cool dino to tame. Um, Pachycephalosaurus, I, I'm not sure how you tame them. I think you just knock them out and feed them stuff. But supposedly, like, um, if you get a saddle for them and you ride them around, you can do a headbutt. Hello, friend. Yeah, you're a good little dinosaur, aren't you? Um, I have a feeling he would mess me up if I attempt to club him over the head, though. So I, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> not going to try. Oh, now this is interesting. See how it's saying I'm hot, I need to cool down? Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> no, um, a good way to do that is actually go underground. But I don't feel confident at all about that right now because... Well, I don't know. Let's, let's, we'll take a quick look. If it looks gnar gnarly, I'm booking it because these places are just full of trouble. Like, I mean, you'll get jumped by like 50 different critters. It's kind of that whole classic, almost Hollywood gimmick where it's like, you know, you go into the cave, you, you light up a torch, and then, oh, now it's cold. <laughs> I guess I'll walk back and forth between being cold and being too hot. Now, how do you cool down? Well, there are several ways to do it. Um, main one, jump in a river. So, or, or build, like, a little shelter that you can hide away in. Um, these also help, actually. Wearing clothing, I guess the idea is it prevents you from getting sunburned. So. I, I wonder if I could handle that packy. I, you know, I guarantee I can't. There's just no way. Absolutely no way I can handle that creature. I could barely handle, like, I couldn't handle a little tiny pack of Celionimus or whatever they're called. There's just, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm getting way too, way too aggressive here with, with, thinking I can take on a dinosaur like that. I'll tell you exactly how that would go now. I'd run with my club, i hit it once. Um, it would be like, okay. It would just kind of like step back and take a look at me. And being like, that didn't hurt me at all. Now it's my turn. And then like, <laughs> you know, it'd be like a, a game of Rojambeau where like, you know, it <laughs> club does not beat pack of several stars. I do want to... I'm tempted to try and tame one once I get Trank Arrows, though. Um, kind of a cool thing about them. So if you have a saddle... Uh, and again, I've never tamed that guy. I, I've never um, even seen him until now. Brand new dinosaur. I've just been doing some background reading. You know, preparing for this. So... Oh, yeah. See, uh, when the sky turns orange like that... 
it, it means it's a heat wave and it's just gonna be way too hot and what, what is this mega nura ooh um yeah mega nura they're um falcon sized uh dragonflies from i believe the pre cambrian and pre cambrian sounds a little early oh oh no Okay, he's occupied. He's occupied. You see, he's going for bigger meats. But that was the Spinosaurus off in the distance there. They will mess you up. Now, I need to use the river. I don't need to r r use the river that much, though. Run away. <laughs> oh, we're getting out of here. Um, maybe I can hang out in the shade of the trees. Oh, no. 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 Bad. Bad little dinosaur. Um, yeah. Give me your meats. See, one of them is fine, but multiples, no thank you. They move fast, and they're tiny and hard to aim at, so... Yeah, it's a shame that it meant, like, I got killed off by them, but... Actually, I got killed off by them kind of around here. Like, we might even be able to find my body. I don't need it at this point. I've kind of rebuilt everything I was carrying, but... I think I had some meat on it that might be good. Yeah, I don't like those Coelophysis guys. They jump out and kind of like... They can be a problem. <laughs> what do we got going on here? Okay, it's just the wind kind of pushing that a little. And you can pay attention to the weather too. It's interesting. Like, um... Now, I do, like, literally, um... I did a little playthrough before starting. Just, just the... You know, kind of like not for these are all new dinosaurs. I'm talking back when I first played the game, and this is this was kind of my home base, but it was much safer. Okay, there's Manly Dingo. Huge help that jerk was. Um, oh hey, a beacon's coming down. Let's grab it. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, they kind of like run away and get their buddies. Oh, they're hard to hit. Okay. At least when... Ah, go away. No. <laughs> I think the whole deal with copies is they're friendly when there's only like one of them. But if they get like two or three, they get, they get all aggressive and, and mean. Um... What what is the follow command? Semicolon? I think it was semicolon. I I up oh. up oh, yeah, see see how gnarly they're getting and aggressive now that they have a little group. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I mean seriously. They are gonna be at half health. My dinosaur's like doing nothing. Okay, shoo. I think that's most of them. Let's see. Let's see what we can do with this uh this crate here. It could could have some goodies. I'm hoping it has some meat or something. Hide's good. Um. Most of the stuff, I'll take the fiber. I'm going to pass on almost all the rest of it. It's fairly easy to get all that, even the thatch. So, that's fine. Whatever. But, no, no, the, the hides were good fine. He's stuck. That's the issue. Let's bust this rock and free Manly Dingo from his stony prison. And then we got to do something. I think I have some berries. I, I need to eat those, actually. I'm... I'm starving. <laughs> and we got we got some meats and some hides and stuff, so What what was that? Oh, that was just a rock. Oh my goodness. Oh, and he made some noise. I, yeah, it's Okay, let's eat berries. Berries for guys. Mm. The yellow ones taste um they taste like bananas. Yeah. <laughs> And the, uh, surprisingly, these blueberries, they don't taste like blueberries. They're, um, 
They're actually, you know, that, um, the blue raspberry flavor. Which, by the way, like, I'm sure most people have heard of this before, but that flavor is completely artificial. It has nothing to do with raspberries, and it, there's, like, nothing that in existence is, quote-unquote, a blue raspberry or anything of that nature. Nope. It's completely artificial flavor designed by a chemist. And they just call it blue raspberry because marketing purposes. So... You know, it's it's starting a little dark out. I think the sun might be going down fairly soon. I want to make a hide sleeping bag and kind of set up like a little base somewhere. I, I maybe maybe we can build one um back actually near the entrance of that cave. That, that's a pretty good spot. It's kind of far away from any dangerous dinosaurs. So I also need to um figure out how to set my Dilophosaurus, Manly Dingo, one, to follow me, which he doesn't seem to want to do at all, and uh, two, to, I don't want him to attack a target that I'm swinging at. I, I do want him to attack targets that attack me. Um, he's kind of still up there, huh? What is, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna like, honestly, I'm gonna write down these, um, Okay, I think E, attacking your target, and the all follow command was a T. Okay. And I wonder if he's stuck. Nope, he's coming. Phew, okay. I think he's set properly. Now let me just open this up. Um, or escape. What do we got here? Aggression level attacking your... Okay, good. Now what's going to happen is if I take a swing at something, he will attack it. But if I'm not attacking the thing, he won't. Um, which is, is kind of a good situation. Okay, so we're, we're pretty well fed. Um, I wish I could tell what time of day it was, but... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And see, now it's... Is that a male or a female? That's a male. Get him, boy! <laughs> you me only one manly dingo in this jungle. Oh, wow, he's... Oh, he's doing some damage. Ow! Did he... Did you just kill my dino? Stop it! <laughs> Oh, oh jeez. Oh, he was level 34. No wonder that was such a tough fight. Goodness. That, that was gnarly. How's, um, how are you doing? Yeah, it, it took some of his health, but not all of his health, so that's good. I'll just leave, like, um, now the way the stacks work is the higher the stack, the longer it takes for it to decay. Uh, so, like, if you want to keep something around, we are not quite ready for a trike yet. Um, oh, what is the command to, like, tell everything? You know what? I am going to have to write down the whistle commands. Um, and just have them in front of me until I really learn them that well. Um, basically, whistle is how you give commands to your dinosaurs. So, if you want your dinosaur to help you attack something, you, you use the whistle in one way. Uh, like, it's something you really desperately need to know well for, um, for single player. So, that's that. Now, my, my whole kind of plan, uh, mail, let's, let's, uh-oh. Uh-oh. That dinosaur that was running really fast. I think. What is that guy? I think he's a new one. It's not a raptor. It's a theropod of some kind. Oh, it's Oviraptor, the egg thief. Oh. Well, that's nice. Um... I kind of want to tame them because they have a cool, 
That's a really cool effect. They can basically run up to... Seems harmless enough. He hasn't really attacked me. I wonder how you tame them. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna call this an episode and I'm gonna do a little bit of research, like really learn my um commands and whatnot. And I think I'll also uh, I'll look up how to tame the Ovi Raptor. They have this cool ability where what they can do is they can actually calm down dinosaurs when you pick up their eggs. Normally dinosaurs will attack you if you steal their eggs, but Ovi Raptor um gets around that problem. He uh, he can run up and like grab the eggs and dinosaurs are like. Oh, it's just Ovi Raptor. He's always doing those shenanigans. So, that's just something to keep in mind. Anyway, I'm going to call it an episode here. We've, we've had um, interesting times. Uh, <laughs> um, what was the Chinese like saying? Uh, May your life be short and full of excitement or something. It's like a curse <laughs> for people. Um, anyway, oh, it's like, may you live in interesting times, I think is the is how it goes and, and the implication is like it's basically a curse it's saying like i hope uh i hope you have to live through like a war or something horrible so oh <laughs> uh, yeah anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna he looks so creepy through the bamboo it looks like he's kind of wandering like should i continue to follow this guy or maybe maybe i should have some human meat for once you know he, he doesn't look that trustworthy just the way his pointy teeth are kind of out he's kind of Okay, well that kind of that kind of ruined the mess right there. <laughs> Manly Dingo, you kidder. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it an, an episode here. A lot of excitement. We got to see a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of crazy beasts out there, and uh, none of the like. Well, we saw Spinosaurus off in the distance. I prefer it that way. <laughs> um, you know, like the the further off those those giant guys stay, the better. Um, I mean, we will get jumped at some point by like a Tyrannosaurus or even worse. So uh, you know, and oh man, it's scary when that happens. It's scary when a little the copies gang up on you. Oh my goodness, they they just destroyed us. It goes to show you this island is just. Super dangerous. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's been a good episode, and when we get back tomorrow, or not, I don't know, like tomorrow in game, I who knows when the next episode's out. Um, I'm going to like round up the dodo herd, maybe make it a little bigger, maybe maybe try to tame that Ovi Raptor too if we can, and then start thinking about a base. But um, in the meantime, you all have a good one, huh? And uh, yeah, see you later.